Hello everyone, be the Fertility back here today with another deck review. Uh, thank you for joining me. Today we're looking at the new Falma deck, a new Falma deck, the Folklore Edition by Graham Blair. You can check out Graham Blair's website at GrahamBlairWoodcuts.com. These are all based on woodcuts that he does. It's a follow-up to his previous Newfoundland deck. Of course, if you're wondering what the heck is Newfoundland, it is a province here in Canada. And the people from Newfoundland, we often like to refer to them as Newfies, <laughs> which is kind of weird. The front of the box has the back design element, which is partridge berries, also known as lingon berries. A standard USB-C cup case. And some ad copy and trademark stuff on the sides. It says you found the deck cards for this on the other side. Same thing on top in the front. Add copy on the bottom. The lean berries and the back. Same as the front. Standard USB C seal. Graham Blair with his website on the flap. Standard USB C tuck case. I do apologize if you hear anything in the background. You do get an informational card in English. And one for all français. You get the Jokers, which is this cool guy holding some number cards, some sixes. He's got hooks. And this guy's holding threes. Now you can look at the ones that are missing. You can kind of use that as a reveal if you want to for a trick. You know, this guy's not, doesn't have a six of hearts. This guy doesn't have a free of spades. You can kind of incorporate that into a trick if you wanted to. Now let me tell you, this deck is all about the wild and wonderful tales of Atlantic Canada. The Ace of Spades, nice artwork. All the suits have different backgrounds, kind of encompassing different things, regions, seasons. This is water, obviously. Pretty cool. Actually, let me see what it says here. The hearts are about the home, the diamonds are about the sea, clubs are about the woods, spades are about the night. So, I'm going to talk about here the uh, the Jokers, by the way, as I mentioned, feature the hero of traditional Jack Tales, playing cards with the devil disguised here as a Portuguese fisherman. Hey, we are not devils. <laughs> and, um... The clever Jack has a sword on his back and an apple in hand, two magical items that aid him in many stories to overcome fantastical creatures and save his princess. So, pretty cool. The hearts, like I said, represent the home. There's a witch queen. Fanciful dragon as the jack, a double headed. Well, we'll look at that, I guess, when we get to it. So, the spades we'll start off with the represent the knight. You got the spirit of a drowned fisherman or a haint as the king, matched with the old Hague as specter as the queen, and a horned owl as the jack. So, we'll see that. Pretty cool. Going on to the hearts. What I kind of mentioned, which represents the home. You got the Witch Queen holding the crow and a magic dagger. A fanciful dragon as the jack. A double-headed giant holding a captive princess as the king. Interesting. Going to the clubs. I'll switch back and forth. Again, I apologize if you hear anything in the background. Uh, these represent the woods. You got a fairy queen with a stolen baby. to be swapped with a demonic Chingling, a uh, fairy king preparing to blast unsuspecting victims with, <laughs> with stuff, and a fairy in the form of a fox is the jack. So pretty cool. And then the diamonds Could represent the sea. We got a pirate king uh, about to bury a treasure chest, the shark. Inspired mermaid with a noble tusk as the queen and a mythical giant squid 
emerging from the depths of the Atlantic for a jack. Oh, look at that. She's got boobs. <laughs> and look at that, it's a Kraken. But number coins, very straightforward, nice custom pips. Kind of looks like spears almost. And with clowns in the background, little background details. Forest looks like leaves and the water. Very nice, the back design, nice borderless design. Which is as mirror image as can be. Went to my USB-C, of course, on a nice bicycle stock in a linen air crystal almost feels like a crust stock. And yeah, it's very nice. I give this a solid A+, plus. beautiful artwork, interesting theme, looks great in the fans, of course. That's something I want to know. I always want to give it an F for the Portuguese devil. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that is that. Check out his website. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. We will see you next time with more. Thank you for watching.